Hey, what's up everybody? Back again with another indoor garden update. As you can see, I made some changes to it. Um, took out, we had the NFT rail system down on the bottom here and I've replaced it with some totes. Uh, got this <clears throat> idea from another YouTuber. Um, his channel is Planted in the Garden. I'll put a link in the description to his channel if you wanna check his setup out. Anyway, he's got a pretty pretty nice setup, or a couple of them actually. But uh, you know, after just using that other system and realizing that the, the rails, you know, they they were just too small. Um, and that bok choy, I think, was what was the problem last time. Plugging up the lines with the, the root system, they get pretty big. So this new system here, basically, it's I guess this is an RDWC recirculating deep water culture system. Um, it's going to be a lot easier to maintain, clean. Um, I can just pull that, I can move a whole tray around. I've got a lot more room in here now too. And so, and also in addition to doing that, I, I actually bought some grow lights. Uh, these are, these are grow lights, they're Viper P1000s. I got them off Amazon. They're about 50, about $57 what I picked them up for. Um, and they're really, they're really good grow lights. So I was able to put those up and you can just see how much more room I have now. Um, be able to get, get in there and harvest that lettuce real easy makes things so much easier. Um, it was just getting too tight with the other system. Um, also, you can look up here and kind of see how it is with the shop lights. Uh, shop lights do work, everything's growing pretty good, um, but you'll just have to deal with, you know, kind of fighting, get in there to harvest stuff, and, um, you know, if you're okay with that, then, but you can still grow with them. I mean, but this is just so much easier. I can get in here and pick this lettuce, you know, real easy with these, with these grow lights, so, and, this lettuce, all this lettuce, I mean, I, I've, I've got red cells lettuce in there and some butter, butter crunch, and I think there's some romaine in there. It's all mixed up right now because when I had the rail system, I just kind of, uh, I didn't know if I was going to be able to save it all, but but I was, so it all it's all doing really well. I need to get in here and harvest some of this. It's getting, getting pretty wild. Um, potato plant's still doing pretty good. I think I need to get some more light on it. It's, I was just going to see if it could, you know, get some light off the grow light that's right there but it really needs it really needs some more light i do need to add some more dirt to that there's some more uh, potting mix um so over here uh in this bucket too that was some of the leftovers that were in that rail system uh, that i replaced there's some a lot of that's uh turnips but i just threw them in this five gallon bucket i didn't really want to see them go to waste it's too cold obviously here where i'm at to plant outside we've had below zero temperatures basically all week so it's not really time to be doing anything out there um, so here's this tomato plant over here in the corner. Still got a shop light on it. It's a large cherry tomato plant, so it's really not doing that good. I've kind of neglected it. Uh, it does have some. I am going to get some little small cherry tomatoes out of it. I'm probably I'm probably just about to prune that thing all the way down, let those things ripen, and then after that I'll probably pull this up. It's just really probably too big of a tomato plant to put in here for what I'm doing. Um, I, I would have to put one single uh, grow light on that thing, but it would just grow all the way to the top here and i don't really have enough room for that i need to get a smaller variety um like this is an early girl bush it's only supposed to get like three feet or so um if that tall so we'll see how it turns out it's doing pretty good right now um i, I do have another grow light that i've that i ordered like like i've got over here for the uh for the lettuce so i'm gonna put it over here and see how this thing <clears throat> starts doing with that um cucumber plants doing pretty good i've got some cucumbers coming on in there some baby ones and also here's a squash plant. It's doing really well. Uh, just about a week ago, I changed out the um, shop light and put this another grow light. And when I just, I wanted to see that, you know, I was getting some growth on this squash plant. I had one squash coming on and I wanted to see if it, how much difference this grow light, you know, made. And so uh, I, I put, I installed it. And when I did, I could tell, you know, it took a, two or three days, but I could really start to tell this thing started coming on. So, but um, anyway, you can, See if we can get in here and you can kind of see I've got some squash coming on in here. Um, so yeah, it's doing pretty good. Uh, you do have to, you know, obviously it's indoor so I have to pollinate my hand. I don't know if I've got, if I got that one right there. That was the first one. I don't think I got it pollinated because it looks like it's shriveling up. But, but anyway, for the most part, everything's doing really well. Um, but yeah, like I said, I, I've got this idea off of uh, YouTube channel, Planted in the Garden. Um, it just looked, his system looked really clean. So I'll probably... I'm gonna do the same thing. I've got a couple. I need to order a couple more of these uh, totes. They're just 10 gallon um, food grade totes, and uh, I've got it all set up. It's recirculating. I recirculate I, right now. I'm only recirculating the water 
for 30 minutes um, uh, for just once a day. Uh, actually, no, I'm doing that twice a day, I'm sorry, for 30 minutes. So that's all it's needed. Um, and then I'll do the same thing up here. I'm going to put grow lights and also uh, replace this rail system. I may end up putting that, mounting that rail system back here on this wall and just putting small stuff in it like herbs and, you know, cilantro, dill, basil, uh, stuff like that that doesn't get too big. And anyway, uh, but I'll probably put the tote system up here as well. That's the plan. Um, and then I'll put, like I said, two grow lights above. So I've got plenty of working room there. I don't have to fight the grow lights. But anyone that's wondering about the grow lights, I mean, they do, they really do work. Uh, you know, they don't, I don't know if, you're probably not going to get as fast a growth. Like when I put this grow light up right here, it really seemed to, it really did seem to make a difference as far as how fast that squash plant's growing. And it's not really ideal temperatures down here right now either. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm below ground. Um, this grow room is kind of like in a little storm shelter area I have. Um, so it, it's, it stays, you know, fairly cool down here, especially with the, like I said, we've had below zero temperatures all week. So it's about 63 degrees down here, but that thing still seems to be growing pretty good. Um, so, but anyway, uh, I'm going to end the video here, but I'll be back with, uh, with another update soon. Thanks for watching.